All my life, people told me not to do certain things. They told me not to do them because it's outside of the norm, it's outside of the social conduct. And I've always preferred to get criticized than to beg for permission. It's very, if you believe in what you're doing, if you believe, for example, me recording this video, let's just say I'm not supposed to be where I'm at, but it's a really, really cool place for me to have silence. So either I'd rather say, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have been here, you know, if somebody catches me, then be like, hey, can I please go in? And they'll be like, oh no, you can't. And so many times in my life, I've, I've done this. Uh, when I worked with companies, when I worked for companies, in different business situations, I've had different life situations, I've always preferred to trust my intuition and just go for it and risk, you know, people saying, oh, that wasn't, you're not supposed to do that, it's not right. And, but I still got the, the result I wanted. For example, I have this video and somebody comes in like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, um, this worked for me the best, like the most uh, efficiently when I was actually working um, as a sort of a marketer for a big company in Israel that was dealing with helping people stop smoking. So what I did, I just blatantly started putting Facebook ads for the company and giving them really, really cheap leads because I was really good at it. And they instantly promoted me because they saw how good I was. Now, I always pushed the boundaries and I talk about this in my book a lot. I always pushed the boundaries. I always tried new things, did new things. I didn't wait for the command chain to work out for everybody to say, oh, this is approved because this shit takes so long sometimes that it's just not worth it. It's, it's better to be ripped a bit, be, have people like, oh, you shouldn't have done that, but, but you've actually did, done it, then wait for like a month just to get approval for something that you can do in five minutes right now. So people won't like you for it, but if you get the results, if you believe in yourself and you can get results for it, they will appreciate you. So everybody was like, oh, you shouldn't have done that, you know, it's not right, but behind closed doors, they were like, wow, dude, that was amazing, you know, really good. Because again, you have to keep that bureaucracy, that chain of command, because most people, uh, the assumption is that they won't do well if uh, they're not told what to do and they don't have like strict codes of conduct. So if you're that type of person who believes in his or her abilities, start acting out of your own initiative. Stop asking for permission and actually make it happen because again, if you did it right, people will reward you for it. Now again, it's a risk, but if you believe in yourself, it's a risk worth taking because you'll move forward faster than anybody else. You can get into any spot, place, uh, position, opportunity that you think in the world if you just have the balls and the belief and the skills to match and take the initiative before you get the permission. Because 95% of people are gonna wait for permission. Even if they're trying to impress them, the boss or, or the, the guy in charge, they're gonna ask for permission. Like, oh, can I do this to show you? It's like, oh, sorry, Robbie's already done it. You know, he shouldn't have, but he did it and he's done it well. So who's gonna win in that situation? Make sense? Peace. Let me know if you have questions.